Wow, can we knock off the trumpets already? And we're on to the first round. Apparently not. All the real favorites. It's the Wasp Horn. Beast, 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 beast. This first round's a challenge. Three, it's really two, easy. We shouldn't have any trouble until about the third round. Go. Beast, beast. Three, two, one. The thing go. to the far right is the applause meter, um, and it will go up. Depending on how happy the audience with is. Two, and the audience sort of responds to your performance. So the better go. you're doing, the faster that meter will go up, and the more likely it'll actually stay there. Not getting hit, I think, really helps that meter out. And killing things as quickly as possible. Also Fighting like that earns 100 gold! The next round will be worth 500 gold! Next round! He may be new to the arena, but he's got through round one! Let's see how he does with the second round! It's an audience favorite, the cruel, the smelly Hobbs! Oh jeez, I've already gotten done killing all of these. Two, one, go! Okay, we're gonna slow time immediately. We can use a little bit of magic for combating these things. We have a lot of physical resist now. And um, again, I'm not sure if that really stacks with our shield or not. But the bright plate mail is about the best armor we can get for this Three, game. Two, so we're in pretty much in-game gear right now. Go! We're getting to a point where our mana potions don't fill up our entire bar anymore. So we can actually use mana potions a little bit preemptively and we don't have to worry about suddenly dropping really low out of the blue. But as you'll notice, there are these things called arena traps. Or, not called arena traps, it's just what they are. Um, and we will be using these to our advantage a lot on some other ways. Especially the spinner. I like the spinner a lot. Let's kill this guy quickly. I enjoy leading the hobs around and trying to, try to get them to go through all of these arena traps. It really thins the horde a bit. Eh. 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 Of course, if we accidentally jump into one of these arena traps, it hurts us a lot too. But they're really easy to avoid, especially with slow time. And they are really more for taking care of the enemies than yourself. One. Go. Let's grab another little potion. I think I'm netting about three will potions per wave so far. And as you saw in the uh, arena shop, I bought a ton of these will potions. So we'll be good for a while. And let's leave this fat one back here behind one of the traps. Just so we don't have to use another slow time on him. <laughs> He's so fat he can't get past it. Ho 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 ho. Silly hog. They do a fair bit of damage, but the more important thing is they just kind of help you by knocking the enemy down over and over and over again. That's another 500 gold! 600 gold earned so far, and there's another 1,000 up for grabs in the next round! Your prize money so far stands at 600 gold. Do you wish to continue to the next round? Yes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the team rounds! Two heroes, side by side, fighting together for their very survival! been a last minute change to the hero lineup. It's the sister of arena legend, Thunder. Let's hear it for Whisper. Oh, you're finally wearing your hoodie. The two of them together, can they defeat the Valkyries? Three, two, one. All right, this is the wave I was talking about. Things get a little bit more intense with these Valkyries because they just hit so hard. But now that we have Whisper here, we have even more potent d destruction to keep these Valkyries from killing us in swarm form. Especially with the later waves of this Three, particular round. Two, one, go! Okay, let's come to us really quick. See, one hit did that much damage. We have to be very careful about how we're fighting these Valerys. We almost want to completely avoid them. And if we can lure them into traps, all the better. Yeah! <laughs> There's one more. Okay, there we go. Three, two. Okay, I'm not looking one, forward to these next two. Go. Slow time. 
Multi Strike, Will Potion, and we're gonna beat the shit out of this white one. This white Valvoline has so much health, it's ridiculous. So we're gonna whack on it and then back up and let it stand back up and then come for us, and then we're gonna whack on it again. Because if this thing hits us, it does insane amounts of damage. It's really stupid. So we're just gonna run around a little bit, kinda let them get off, and then let's just pick it. Run up behind him. Usually, if you attack a Valvoline from behind, it has less chance of actually blocking you. Oh, we can push it into the trap! Come on! Push it in, push it in, push it in. Yes! Yeah! Awesome. I would love to do that again. Let's actually do that again, yeah. Push it into the trap! Push it into the trap! Push it in! Yeah, there we go. I think it's dead. Oh, it's still not dead! <laughs> just look how much health these things have! It's ridiculous! And they do just impossible amounts of damage. It's insane. This wave is awful. But the good news is if we can get past this part without our physical shield dropping, we're gonna be good to go. And I need to be preemptive and actually slow time and bash the crap out of these big white Valvoreens as much as I can. Alright, so that one's dead. Let's check our mana potions. We're down to 17. Okay, that's not good. We need to be very conservative with our mana potions. But during this wave, ugh, there's not really much doing with it. Stabity stab. Back me. Right. Three. Okay, this next two, one's gonna suck. One. Oh boy. Go. Slow time. Full strike. Back and 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 back. Okay. Full strike. Full strike. Screw you, butthole. Get back here, you son of a bitch. Hey. Oh yeah. Kill him, kill him, kill him. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna be close to dying. Please tell me that one died. Oh, I think I got him. Alright, awesome. That one's dead. Phew. As long as I killed one of them, I'm fine. And he hit me. Shit. Ah, 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 Die, die, you fuck, stupid asshole. Die, 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 die. Slow time, die. Phew. Okay, both of the big ones are gone. That's the hard part of In my opinion, out of all the rounds, that one is the most difficult. Let's double check our mana potions. We have 15 more. Okay, I can do the rest of this on 15 mana potions. A nice round gold reward! Wow! 1,600 in the bag! And there's another 2,000 on offer for the next round! Yep. These two did a great job last round, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a big hand! The uh, next round is a real favorite this year. Anyone who's braved Litchfield Graveyard recently will know what I'm talking about. It's the Undead! Three, two, one, go! Okay, this is kind of a rest round. The Undead is an enemy we haven't really had contact with yet. But as it turns out, we can hide behind an arena trap and just wait for them to come to us because they move so slowly. And even if they're the most advanced form of Undead, they pose real no yeah, they pose no real threat to us. I can work good English hard. So we're just gonna hit these undead while we're sitting behind one of these arena traps. Like so. Three! Let Whisper handle the majority of the problems. One! Also, Whisper can't go. die in this stage. She's basically invincible. So we can exploit that to our advantage. And make her sort of our human shield. And if you're wondering how I know that she can't die, uh, it's because she doesn't have a health bar. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she can't die during this part. Also, there's no boast about um, protecting Whisper or making sure Whisper doesn't die, so... Yeah. If there was a boast, like, ensure Whisper doesn't die in Three, the arena, then I would, two, might be a little bit more concerned about her, but... One, she has a tendency to run into these traps go. and get herself knocked upside the head silly, so... I'm guessing that in testing they just decided, eh, maybe we shouldn't put an arena challenge around her. She's kind of derpy. Which is a fair assessment. She is very derpy. Okay, we're getting a lot of undead up on us. Uh, let's go ahead and begin to move on the other side of the arena. Come on! I apologize for the view, it's probably not too entertaining. But I assure you, I'm just trying to conserve my mana right now. Three, two, one, go! 
sneak around here and grab all these little bags. Because these bags have a chance we can gain mana potions. And of course all the bags are being You're generated because... Famous status. Oh awesome, famous. All these bags have um, a chance to drop based on the crowd approval level. And as you can see we have that maxed out right now because we haven't taken any breaks. So as long as that's really maxed out, they'll start throwing shit in the arena for us. Like, we're really lucky we'll just keep getting mana potions, but sometimes we'll get stuff like jewelry, like jets and uh, rubies and stuff like that. One more. Yeah, that wave probably seemed disproportionately e easy compared to all the last waves, and I you're right. I hope that was worth 2,000 gold! I reckon it was! They've earned 3,600 gold! But will they stay for another round to net them another 3,000? Ha! Yes. The competition's hotting up. We've already lost three heroes. Well, it's time to make our surviving combatants even more nervous. It's round five, and here they are. Spared from the headman's block, let's have a big hand for the bandits of the Black Hand Gang. Three, two, one. All right, we have a combined strategy for these. Some of them are gonna go directly after us, other ones aren't. So we're gonna slow time and we're gonna pick off the ranged ones first. And then let the rest of them attack Whisper. And then once Whisper has the attention of pretty much all of the bandits, we're gonna hide behind one of these little arena traps and we're gonna try to pick them off one at a time. Because these bandits are really stupid and they like to run straight into these arena traps because their pathing is so awkward. Like if you notice, bandits don't really path directly at you. They sort of path around-ish, like they go back and forth. So, we're gonna take advantage of that. Three, two, one, go! Let's go after the bow users first. I think just one good hit takes out most of these guys. Yep, one good hit. Let's hide behind here and see how many are still focused on us. Seems just like a couple are. Oh man, this guy wants her butt. Oh, both of these guys want her butt. No, 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 no. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's go and pick him off. I'm fighting like a pansy specifically because I want to use as little will as possible. Because it's going to come up on another wave where we want to burn all of the rest of our will potions very quickly. Because we have to fight two of my favorite enemies in the game. Which you might be able to predict because I've been screwing with one of them earlier. Alright, do we have any... Nope, there's no crossbow users in this wave. So instead of worrying about that, we're just going to hide behind here. We're going to pick off these guys one at a time. I suppose that works. Come on guys, you can get me. I'm just over here. Step around the trap. Or not. Or not, that's fine. Also, for some reason, these traps don't do a ton of damage to me. So I guess that's an even better reason for me to be flirting around with them. I've accidentally hit them twice so far. You might have seen that. And when they hit me, they haven't been doing a ton of damage, so... Pretty good insurance policy on that. I love being able to not worry about getting myself hurt all that much. I think I just stepped in that spike trap and it didn't do that much damage to me either. Could be the new armor as well. I'm not really sure what's making this so easy. Three, two, one, go! That one guy really loves calling me Arseface. Okay, we got another crossbow round. Let's fill up on Will. And go knock these boys' teeth in it. In and in and in in and in and in. We got another trap. Two more crossbow users. I'm gonna go ahead and slow time again and come up and whack them. I like to pick off these crossbow users because they're unpredictable and because they can sit at range, they're not prone to melee running into the arena traps like a moron. And there you go. Let's hide behind the spike trap for a moment. Come on, come at me. Snap. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Mm. There we go. Just this one guy. And Whisper got him for me, apparently. Thanks, Whisper. You're super helpful now instead of being annoying. 3,000 more gold for that! They banked 6,600 gold. And if that wasn't enough, another 4,000 is available for the next round. 6,600, yes. Continue. 
Our intrepid heroes have made light work of wasps, bandits, hobs, valvarines, and even undead. What's next? What could possibly pose a threat to our noble combatants? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's round six. The mighty Earth Trolls, Ingrid and Bertha. Three, two, one. Okay, go. Earth Trolls are really easy. I like to just kind of poke them in the butt. Because, of course, they don't have a lot of health. They are Earth Trolls. It's the other kind of trolls I'm worried about. You can get them to spawn one at a time if you actually sit on top of their spawn locations. And another 4,000! Wow, a total of 10,600 gold! Okay, mana potion levels are... Holding great at 18. We have more than enough to do this now. This should be easy. Things are getting very tough for our contestants. We can all see that they're feeling the strain. Yeah, I'm fine. But what's that between our noble heroes and their winning? Pile of rubble? No, it's the Rock Trolls, Stannis, and Groin! Three, two, one, go! Oh god, I did a little bit too quickly. I let him actually spawn before I can do damage to him, apparently. Mm, can I kill him before he does his attack? No, not quite. I got close though. This will be fine. I can beat down one of them and then probably just use my bow to pick off the other one. Yeah. Push it up. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Much arrow. Mini arrow. I could try to do the stupid thing and hit their boulders back at them, but I pretty much already found out that I suck at doing that. So we're not gonna even bother me thinks. That would be illogical for me to attempt to do that again. And you're dead, son. Oh, wow! Another 8,000 gold! 18,600 in the bag, and only one round to go. Is it worth dying for another 10,000? Eh. Yeah. <laughs> 